Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this is what I consider the best all-in-one PC currently on the market. And this, if you're looking for something for the holiday, definitely pick this up. Why? Because Dell has done something here with the Inspiron 27 7000 series that I think a lot of people who are looking for an all-in-one or a PC that can do more than just be a, a home homework magnet uh, with this device. Why? Because this comes packed with a Ryzen processor as well as also an RX series card. Yeah, that's right. So you can do a lot with this, but also this is a very versatile piece of machinery. It is well built, well designed, uh, really solid base and frame. It's something that you can maneuver, you can tilt up and down. Uh, it's also got a lot of really cool and of course, really functional parts in this device. Now it comes with a standard keyboard and mouse, nothing too fancy, but what really makes this thing shine is what you have inside. Like I said, it's powered by a Ryzen processor. So it starts with a Ryzen 5 and goes all the way to a Ryzen 7, 7 1700. It starts with a Ryzen 5, 1400 series. Uh, and then, and of course, everything scales up from there. You can easily start off with an RX 560 graphics card, or in this case, what I have here is a Ryzen 7 1700 and an RX 580, which is pretty cool. So this thing has a lot of performance packed into it. But speaking about performance, right? What really makes this shine is the fact that you can go ahead and peel up the back and take a look inside. And what you can do besides taking a look is you can actually replace, this is the most customizable um, all-in-one. You can go swap out the RAM. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can go and up, you can up, up, um, upgrade that to 32 gigabytes. It comes with a PCI SSD, uh, 256. You can go to a 512 if you want to, or a terabyte, doesn't matter. Uh, also comes with a, a one terabyte hard drive, which you can also swap out as well. And you can replace the CPU as well, which is pretty cool. Now, granted, I have a, a Ryzen 7 here, so if you started with the Ryzen 5, if you bought the base model, you can upgrade that all the way and have a really functional solid machine. Now, my model here has a 4K display. It's not a touchscreen display, but it is a lovely looking display. So looking at images, even just look at the wallpaper here, the Justice wallpaper looks really nice. And looking at, of course, a 4K video content, looks sharp and vibrant. And of course, that's something you want to get from a device like this. Now, um, the other thing, of course, is that with all that performance that I talked about, you know, you probably want a game. I mean, this, this PC right here, this all-in-one PC, basically matches something that I built, um, um, a Ryzen, my Ryzen 1700 PC, which is absolutely amazing. Just think about that. Like, that whole big rig is equal to this, and this has a 4K monitor. So that is something to take note. And I went ahead and just test out, of course, the new Call of Duty, right? I've been playing the multiplayer on that. I have to say, though, the new Call of Duty is pretty dope. I'm glad they went back to kind of like the old mechanics there in terms of gameplay. So it's great to actually see that. But this machine handles it very well. I was doing you know, about 53 frames per second. Game ran smooth. I was able to, of course, just, you know, enjoy the mechanics of what Call of Duty had to offer. And it doesn't matter what game you throw on there. Remember, just think of the specs. You've got a Ryzen 7, 1700, and an RX 580. So you know what you're getting. It will match everything my Ryzen 1700 PC uh, did which is amazing. So I like that about it. I like the fact that this offers that. It also comes with a lot of um, ports and accessories. So you've got uh, about five or six USB uh, 3.1 and 3.2 port, uh, 2.0 ports. You've got a, a USB uh, type C port as well. You've got HDMI in, HDMI out. You've also got another port on the side here. Volume controls are on the keyboard itself. So if you want to actually want to change or increase the volume, but it's a really nice, slick, looking device. Now the speaker grill, right, as you see here, it's pretty hefty. So it kind of takes a little bit off the design because you can see it's really thin. I mean, the bezels are not too thick on the top, which is nice, but you've got a thick speaker grill, but it does pay out. So when you're gaming, uh, audio from this is just really nice. It's clean, it's crisp. Um, also, when you're watching content, it is. So why don't you guys just take a quick listen to what the audio is like from the system.
So overall, I really like the Dell Inspiron 27. I think this is an awesome, um, just all-in-one PC from Dell, especially for someone who's looking for all-in-one PC for the home, that you can place anywhere. You can see this is you know, my kitchen, uh, center, uh, kitchen here, or you can place it in your living room, you can place it anywhere in your house, but also provides you the kind of performance that you want to get. So you can start from a Ryzen 5 and go all the way up to a Ryzen 7 1700 with the RX uh, 580, 580 graphic card, which means you can edit video, you can play games, you can do more work, and also you could just easily just, you know, uh, watch movies. You've got a 4K display on this as well. So I definitely like it. Now this model here, which is the highest model, which is the uh, 7,775 um, in Spurn 27, retails for 1,799. I think it's a really good value for something like this, or you could scale down all the way to $999. Again, a Ryzen 5, RX 560, you're doing a lot of good, especially gaming. All you gamers are thinking about that. So there you have it guys. That is the new Dell Inspiron 27. I think the best only one on the market. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.